my name is Andrew Yudits. Um, in my fifth year now in the chemistry department here at Oxy. The department is about seven faculty, a diverse range of interests from inorganic chemistry to uh, biochemistry, chemical biology, which is my area, and, and we cover a range of classes that uh, students seem to really enjoy. One of the classes that I teach regularly, it's a class that I've developed actually, is the Chemistry 240 lab. And so this is integrated chemistry, Gen Chem 2 basically. Uh, we do a lot of fun labs. One of the students' favorites is taking cigarettes and they smoke them in the lab. So they take a cigarette, put a pipette bulb on the end, and in the fume hood, um, smoke it. And the idea is to analyze heavy metal content. And you can do this by a fancy machine that we have in the, in the lab. It's uh, called an ICP. Uh, inductively coupled plasma um, optical emission spectrometer, so it's ICP OES. And basically, what you end up finding is that there's a difference between the heavy metals in the ash and the heavy metals in the unsmoked cigarette. And so, where does the rest of that go? To the vapor phase, which is what you inhale. Another lab that they really enjoy is analyzing um, iron content in the vitamin pill. And so, you know, the you have a multivitamin says there's 50 milligrams of iron, so is there actually 50 milligrams of iron? Another class that I teach regularly actually is um, it's in the College's Cultural Studies program, uh, CSP, and so it's, it's a science-based uh, CSP class. It's called Science and You, and it's it's again very analytical. Basically, the idea is to take things presented in the media, science-related things. So looking at um, pollution, looking at um, health issues, looking at uh, drug industries. So the media portrays one side of that, and the goal of the course is to peel back what the media portrays and to kind of look behind the scenes and objectively analyze uh, a lot of things that's presented in the media and, and essentially reveal what's, what's actually, what, what, what one should actually be concerned about as opposed to what one is told to be concerned about. Students that come here are, and so this is an advantage of a liberal arts college, are very well-rounded. So I have one student who's a chemistry major, he just graduated, um, incredibly bright, but uh, you know, he was in the water polo and, and all kinds of other things as well. You know, when I went to school, you know, the big schools, you had kids that were focused on med school or, or one very specific thing, and other interests outside of school just didn't really exist. There's a di direct connection and, and outlet to the professors and the research. So right now I have several students in the lab working with me directly and these are students that are taking classes with me um, and, and it's a lot of fun and it's a great practical way of taking what you learn in the classroom and immediately applying it uh, in, in a research setting that's actually meaningful. Yeah, I think, I think that's the, the one key selling point about our department is that for the longest time, and I think undergraduate research has its roots in the chemistry department at Oxy. Um, it is a unique experience and it's unlike anything else anywhere else.